Acadia will face Alberta in the second quarterfinal game of the Cavendish Farms University Cup tonight at 7 o'clock. Darren Burns is the head coach of the Acadia Axemen. Uh, it's always tough getting ready for an opponent that you don't see uh, through the regular season. Just some thoughts on Alberta and, and what people can expect to see from this team. Well, I think they're, you know, an extremely well-skilled team uh, that's big and can skate, uh, you know, play, you know, with a real good offensive edge. Uh, they like to play puck control. A um, little bit different than what uh, fans would see in our league. Uh, I think our league's a little bit more of, uh, you know, hammering the puck out and chasing it down where, you know, they like to keep the puck. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's a situation where obviously there's lots of video, uh, lots of practice time leading up to it. And, uh, you know, they're a good sound team. But, you know, as I've said before here in the last couple of weeks, we're, we're used to facing stiff competition in the A-West. We know we're going to have some stiff competition uh, against Alberta and we'll be ready to roll. You said from the very beginning of the season that Acadia was not going to be an offensively blessed team. You had the best power play in the conference in the first half. But at the end of the day, defense is what's going to win a championship here. How important is it going to be here against this Alberta team? Well, we, we've talked like we have to be perfect. And uh, no one's going to be perfect, but you got to strive to be perfect defensively. And that's what we've talked about. And uh, I think it's a, it's a blend and a mix of not playing on your heels. Like, we have to play with energy. we got to get pucks in. we got to forecheck. Uh, but we've got to be extremely defensively responsible. So um, people know that. I mean, we played five games since uh, our league got started back. Uh, I think we had four one-goal games, and we lost a 2 nothing empty netter. Uh, love what our guys have done. They've been extremely well structured. They've did what they've been asked to do. They've competed extremely hard. So from a coaching perspective, that's all you can ask your team to do. And we've had a chance to win every game. Uh, you're right. Yeah, you know, we do have to, to make sure we're putting every puck we can to the net and uh, forcing everything we can to the net to try and score goals. And, uh, you know, we, we know we're, we're smart guys. We know what uh, we have to do to, to be able to try and come out on top. And we've practiced it. And uh, again, it's controlling what you can control, which is always a defensive side of the puck. And uh, that's what we, you know, intend on doing uh, coming into tonight. At the end of the day, the most important player on your team is going to be your goaltender. Max Paddock only got a handful of starts in the first half, but he started every game in the second half. Just talk about what he's done for you and what your expectations are. Well, we expect him to be one of the top goalies in the country. That's why we brought him in here. Um, great thing with him. I mean, he has a tremendous pedigree. Uh, he carried the ball in the Memorial Cup, which is, uh, you know, it doesn't get any bigger than that in junior hockey. Uh, he did it as a young kid and did an outstanding job. Uh, his family background, his pedigree is all about athletics. So, uh, you know, he's been exposed to, to high-level performance all his life. Uh, he's a calming presence. Uh, you know, we are going to need a huge game out of him and a huge tournament out of him. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, our guys love him. Uh, he's an extremely well-respected guy, has a quiet confidence and a quiet leadership about him. And uh, I think that's, uh, you know, part and parcel why we have played well since we got started back because of him in the net and the respect factor, our guys, for him. And we've got to make sure, you know, that we're insulating him too. This can't all be, you know, left to him. We've got to play hard as a group. And, uh, again, it's not all about one position. If, if you look at... Not to be in, into cliches, but if you look at a team probably coming into this tournament that has to be perfect and has to, you know, make sure all six guys know what's going on at the ice at one time, it's our team. And that's the way it has to be for us to be successful. The Acadia Axemen will play the Alberta Golden Bears in the second quarter final game here at the Cavendish Farms University Cup. Jack Flamin is the captain of the Acadia Axemen. It's always tough planning for a, a team that you, you don't face in the regular season, but just some general thoughts about your expectations against this team. Uh, yeah, they're a good team. They're going to like to hold on to the puck. Uh, they use their feet a lot. They like to play a possession game, but saying that, uh, we're not scared. We're going to put the puck in deep and we're going to get after them. Jack, talk a little bit about what will make Acadia successful here against the number one seed. Yeah, just like I said, we got to get pucks out of our end and then get pucks in deep. Uh, we know we're good below the goal line, uh, getting pucks low to high, pucks to the net. So we got to stick to our game plan, and that's just about that. Having not played for three weeks, uh, obviously it gives your team a chance to heal here and be ready for the games, but you haven't played for three weeks. How important is the first five to ten minutes of this hockey game? Yeah, I, I mean, the first shift is huge. you got to get out there, get your feet moving, uh, get a body, get yourself involved right away. So uh, we're going to stress that first shift, first five minutes, first period. But after that, there's no excuses. Um, we're going we're gonna to bring it every shift. 
two years ago, obviously one day, and you didn't even get to play a game at the University Cup in Halifax because of the pandemic. Uh, what does hosting this, not only for Acadia, but right on the campus mean to you and, and your teammates? It's a, it's a credible honor and, and honestly a, a huge privilege. We could feel the buzz in the air coming to the rink this morning. And uh, it's just a great feeling seeing all these other teams come to our rink. So there's going to be some good hockey here this weekend. Jack Flamin is the captain and he will be in the lineup against Alberta tonight.